I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows multiple fetal anomalies including club foot, encephalosy, kyphosis and placental mass. Now you can see the fetal head. The pregnancy measures about the duration of pregnancy is about 23 weeks. You can see an encephalosy. This is the encephalosil. Ultrasound can detect some type of physical birth defects. Examples of physical birth defects that may be found at 19 to 20 weeks are most cases of spina bifida, some serious heart defects, some kidney problems, absence of parts of limb and some cases of cleft lip. You can see the pregnancy measures about 23 weeks and an encephalocele, an occipital encephalocele is seen. An encephalocele may be seen as purely cystic mass or may contain echoes from the herniated brain tissue. Now you can see the kyphosis of the spine. This is the kyphosis of the spine. Kyphosis is a spinal disorder in which an excessive outwards curve of the spine results in an abnormal rounding of the upper neck. The condition is sometimes known as round back or in the case of severe curve, curve as hunchback. Kyphosis can occur at any age but it is common during adolescence. Now in this case this is in the fetus and this kyphosis is most common in thoracic spines though it can also affect the cervical and lumbar spines. You can see the hand of the fetus and it looks the hand is hyperflexed both the hands Now you can see the head, eyes of the fetus along with the hands and this hand looks to be hyperflexed. Now you can see the placenta is posteriorly attached. Now you can see the femur. Now both the feet are visible Clapper described a range of fetal foot abnormalities usually present at birth congenital in which the baby's foot is twisted out of shape or position. Now you can see the club foot. In club foot tissue connecting the muscle to the bone, tendons are sh shorter than usual. Congenital telepes equinovirus CTEV often also known as club foot is a common development disorder of the lower limb. It is defined 
as fixation of the foot in adduction, in supination and in varus, that is inclined inwards, axially rotated outwards and pointing downwards. The calcane calcaneus navicular and cuboid bones are medially rotated in relation to talus and are held in adduction and inversion by ligaments and tendons. The foot is supinated but the front of the foot is pronated in relation to the back of the foot causing, causing cavus. Moreover, the first metatarsal is more parental flexed. Now you can see a small mass in the placenta. Now the choreo, choreo and joma is benign vascular malformation of the placenta and represents the most common primary tumor of the placenta. Placental, placental hemangioma, choreo and geoma is a benign tumor of placenta. It is seen in approximately half to one percent of pregnancies. It is mostly diagnosed ultrasonographically in the second trimester of pregnancy. Large choreo and geoma are known to cause complications in pregnancy while the smaller ones are asymptomatic. Now the blood flows in the umbilical cord seems to be normal. You can find some important information in the description of this video. And this is an interesting video for the learning purposes as it show, it, this video shows a combination of multiple fetal anomalies in a single case. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.